I'm Nicole Lee, Associate Editor for CNET.com, and this is a first look at the Samsung Reality for Verizon Wireless. As you can see here on the front, it's a nice touchscreen display. It measures three inches across. Uh, on the front here, you do get a, a touch wiz interface, like most Samsung touchscreen phones on the side here. So you can drag and drop widgets and shortcuts from the touch wiz interface to the home screen. The phone comes with three customizable home screens as well. On the bottom row of the home screen here are four shortcuts to the phone dialer, the contacts list, the messaging menu, as well as the main menu. One of the more interesting widgets in the touch wrist interface is the communities widget. This gives you quick access to popular social networks like Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace. The reality also has an internal accelerometer so that the display changes from portrait to landscape mode depending on how you hold the phone, and it only applies to certain applications like the web browser and the photo gallery. There's also a handy dice application that makes use of the internal accelerometer as well. On the back here is a 3.2 megapixel camera lens as well as a self-portrait mirror. The phone opens sideways to reveal a full four-row QWERTY keyboard. The keyboard is quite roomy as you can see here, and there is also navigation keys on the keyboard itself, and each key is raised above the surface for easy texting and typing. Features of the Samsung Reality include the aforementioned 3.2 megapixel camera and camcorder. There is eVideo Rev 0, not Rev A, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, there's also a full HTML web browser. You get a music player on here. You also get access to Vcast Navigator, which is the GPS support here. There's also Vcast Video and Vcast Music with Rhapsody. Other features include text and multimedia messaging, of course, as well as stereo Bluetooth. The Samsung Reality is available for around $80 with a two-year service agreement from Verizon Wireless. I'm Nicole Lee, this has been a first look at the Samsung Reality.